Welcome inside the lines. I am Greg Sussman. This is Frank Stample. For the fifth time this season, the Knicks are favored according to the FanDuel Sportsbook tonight. They're taking on the Washington Wizards at the Garden. They are a three and a half point favorite. Total sits at 227 and a half. And frankly, the Wizards are shorthanded. They haven't had John Wall all season. No Davis Bertans tonight. They have no, no Rui Achimura. Again, Isaiah Thomas is suspended. This is a really good bounce, bounce back spot for the Knicks. Yeah, I really like this spot here for the Knicks. Going up against the Wizards, who are dead last in points per game allowed. Field goal per percentage allowed and defensive rating on the season. The last time the Knicks faced a team that was this bad on defense, it was the Atlanta Hawks. The Knicks ended up winning that game 143 to 120. Pay attention to Kevin Knox, who's really playing well as of late, Greg. Over his last four games, he's averaging 14 points per game on 52% shooting. I mentioned the Wizards have been beat up as, as of late. So are the Raptors, who are on the second night of a back-to-back -back tonight, playing in Indiana, who also played last night. The Raptors, they came back from a 30-point deficit last night to pick up the victory, and that was without Norman Powell, that was without Marcus Gasol, without Pascal Siakam. It's the same situation tonight, but they got tired legs. Yeah, I think both teams might have tired legs in this game, both playing on the second night of a back-to-back -back here, but it's a bad matchup for the Toronto Raptors. What they do really well is they shoot the three ball. They are fourth in the NBA in three-point shooting percentage. They are second in the NBA in fast break points. The Pacers limit both of those things very well. They allow the sixth lowest three-point percentage and the second fewest fast break points in this game. You mentioned all the injuries that they have. I am laying the points with the Indiana Pacers. I don't know that the Raptors are going to be able to get up for this game. Indiana is a six-and-a-half point favorite now, but because because of how good both of these teams are defensively and how tired I expect them to be, this number at 211 and a half, it's too high. I like the under in this one. Let's head out to Miami, where this is the line that doesn't make sense to us. According to the FanDuel Sportsbook, the Heat are favored by four and a half over the Jazz. It's a number that's risen today. And without Mike Conley in the lineup for Utah, I'm not sure how they stay in it. Yeah, I'm with you, Greg. I don't understand this line. I'm laying the points with the Miami Heat. You know, when Mike Conley is out of the lineup, the defensive rating on this team goes from 104.3 to 111.2 for the Utah Jazz. That is a huge drop-off here. Miami is a juggernaut at home. They are 11-2 ATS, while the Jazz are just 5-9-1 ATS on the road. Greg, I'm with you. I'm laying the points with the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat have the best record in the NBA against the spread. They've also been playing fast as of late. They've gone over quite a bit. I just had the Jazz. I like the over, and obviously, I like the points of Miami. We'll take a break. A whole lot more to come, including our Dalla Hala. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. More Inside the Lines right after this. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we build FanDuel Sportsbook with more, more. More ways to bet. More ways to fund your account. More ways to cash in and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as 48 hours. You want more? You got it. Join today and get a risk-free bet worth up to $500. FanDuel Sportsbook. More ways to win. Back inside the lines, Greg Sussman, Frank Stample. Up next, the Phoenix Suns are hosting the Denver Nuggets. They're three and a half point underdogs, according to the FanDuel Sportsbook. The total sits at 217 and a half. Phoenix is once again expected to be without DeAndre Eaton. And the Nuggets, they played a lot recently, but they've been pretty good. They've been very good, Greg. I'm staying away from the side in this game, but I do like the total. It's a lower number here at 217 and a half. Denver has gone over in four of their last five games. During that stretch, they're averaging 114.2 points per game. That is up from their season average. And the last time these two teams played, they combined for 220 points. I'm taking the over 217 and a half. I like Denver as three and a half point favorite. The Suns have lost six games in a row. Up next, the Houston Rockets are in Sacramento to take on the Kings, who have been much worse defensively since De'Aaron Fox came back, which is why I like the over in this game. It sits at 230. That's for me. Which side do you like? I like the Houston Rockets here, Greg. You mentioned that De'Aaron Fox is not a great defender, and it was only a matter of time before Russell Westbrook started playing well over his last three games. He is averaging 33.7 points per game. James Harden is leading the NBA in scoring once again. I don't think that the Kings will be able to hang with the, uh, with the Rockets here. I'm laying the five and a half points. Up next is Ardala Hollow. We'll give you a long shot bet for me. I like the Raptors on that second night of a back-to-back. -back. OG Ananobi is the one that's going to step up without all these stars in there. 15-plus points. He's done it twice in his last three games. You get that at plus 710, plus a Raptors win. Frank, what do you think? I like that one, Greg, but I'm going with a long shot here. Bam Adebayo to record a triple-double and the Heat win. You are getting that at plus 5,000. He has two triple-doubles this month. Knicks and the Wizards tip off in just a bit. Coming up next, Knicks game night. Enjoy the game, everybody.